Bulgaria may, secretly, send Ukraine huge amount of ammunition. Here's a summary of the article. Bulgaria is likely to sell a huge amount of ammunition to Ukraine through intermediaries, which could significantly affect the course of the war. Details. The Bulgarian Defense Ministry has reported that they will supply old ammunition worth nearly 175 million euros to the state-owned VMZ military plant and, in return, will receive new ammunition. Former Defense Minister Boyko Noev told BTV in an interview that the goal is for the vast amounts of old ammunition from the warehouses of the Bulgarian army to go to Ukraine. Quote, this is the largest rearmament of the Bulgarian land forces in recent history. That's a huge amount of ammunition, hundreds of thousands. There is a huge increase in the price of ammunition, and VMZ will sell this ammunition through intermediaries to Ukraine, the former minister said. This is an amount of ammunition that can turn the tide of the war in some directions on the Ukrainian front, Noev added. A few days ago in Brussels, the president announced that Bulgaria will sell arms and ammunition to other European countries on the condition that they will not be sent to Ukraine, despite the parliament's decision in mid-December that the army would send military aid directly to Ukraine. Bulgaria is one of the EU countries that has not confirmed its participation in the EU plan to purchase 1 million rounds of ammunition for Ukraine. This post received a score of 7,800, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. All right, I won't tell anyone. Shush. Just Bulgarians and Redditors know. Also, Bulgaria never stopped sending, secretly, ammo and weapons to Ukraine. Also, Bulgaria never stopped buying all kind of Ukrainian products, so much that the local farmers and business owners threatened to block all crossings from Romania to Bulgaria. Also, Bulgaria host many Ukrainian refugees and will continue hosting them as long as they want to stay. Also, Bulgaria does other secret things to help Ukraine and will continue to do so, but we won't speak about it yet. Publicly, we never gave Ukraine any ammo. Privately, our weapon factories couldn't keep up with the production demand XD. Legends. Bulgaria also imports and processes Russian oil to make diesel, the only EU country that can do it, as we got sanctions exception. Then we turn around and give the diesel to Ukraine. I feel kinda proud how we play the Russians. I'm honestly kind of surprised by how much of a bro Bulgaria is being to us. And certainly very thankful. Bulgarian here. I don't think that this is about being a bro, but rather the people who own the oil refinery get money out of it. I'm not familiar with this diesel deal but I am sure it includes a decent amount of bribes and corruption. Lukoil is a Russian company. This confirms that there's lots of bribes and corruption involved then. We famously have sold weapons to both sides in numerous conflicts. Arsenal and Kintex need work. A war isn't worth fighting if you can't profit from both sides. American companies. Ain't a secret no more is it? I don't understand news like that. During a war propaganda machines go into overdrive on all sides. You could keep this information quiet but it's more effective if Russia hears a constant stream of news. That Ukraine is being supported more and more by more and more countries with more and more weapons and supplies. The intention being that it disheartens the enemy. Sows the seeds of doubt. Bringing them to the negotiation table by putting more and more pressure on Putin. Ultimately make them withdraw. That's the logic behind a lot of the news when it comes to arming the Ukraine army at least. It does however describe how ministers are sharing with full disclosure in open interviews that they're doing it, bragging about the scale of which they're doing it at, and their reasoning behind doing it. They're not hiding that they're doing this to help Ukraine. I don't see the point of arguing that propaganda machines go into overdrive, in reference to Bulgaria doing it, secretly. The only propaganda here is that they're trying to frame Bulgaria as trying to be secretive about helping Ukraine. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.